this is a Mel again. I'm checking in with you with Pimp Pop. I relax you deserve for just guys. I, I promise I can read. It's a CBD. Okay, so this is his amazing packaging. So could you tell us a little bit more about your product, Mark? Yeah, so uh, Hemp Hop is a um, high quality mountain spring water that has hemp extract and hop extract combined together, turned into nanoparticles, added to the beverage. Uh, so hemp and hops work in unison with each other to multiply each other's effects, and then we've turned them into nanoparticles to further multiply their effects. Um, and they're just in a mountain spring water that's high quality, so it's refreshing, it tastes great, it's effective. Um, yeah, it's great. It's a great healthy alternative to uh, other hemp products out there, alcohol products, etc. Helps you take the edge off, helps you relax um, without any downsides. So, what is hop? Hops is a popular ingredient that's used to typically make beer, um, but it's also known for its relaxation properties and it happens to be a cousin of hemp. So, they work in unison and multiply each other's effects for those reasons. They both contain their own unique portfolio of cannabinoids. So, when combined, uh, they kind of fill in the gaps for each other and enhance each other. Okay. So what what gave you this wonderful idea to start this wonderful company? Um, we've been in the CBD industry for quite some time, coming up from the manufacturing side of things, making products for other people, etc. So we kind of just saw a hole in the market for a product uh, like this. And we knew about hops, uh, nobody else was really combining it with hemp. So we wanted to bring a beverage to market that everybody could enjoy, um, that was effective, safe, and delicious. Okay, um, so when did you start this idea, the water idea? Yeah, so we've had this idea for a while. It just was uh, you know, a lot of uh, pilot runs and prototyping and branding. And then, uh, so this is our, this is, us bringing it to the market right now. So this is the introduction to the market finally. Okay, and what's another great question? Where is your water source? So our, our water is actually sourced from Southern California, from the mountains, from a mountain spring. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Well, guys, I hope I'm seeing this in Georgia. Try such a look at this beautiful brandy. And how long have you been in the manufacturing business? Uh, we've been in this manufacturing dietary supplements since 2011 and working with CBD since about 2015, kind of before you know, anybody else really was even. So we've kind of been in this industry since the inception of it. So you were above the curve. Yeah, you could say that. So what would you tell a millennial just breaking into this new industry that seems kind of saturated? Uh, I would say be innovative. Not for your product. Yeah, yeah, be innovative. I mean, that's what we try to do with this product. Um, you know, you see what's out there on the market. There's a ton of it. There's a lot of people that are already heavily invested in the industry. I would say if you're going to bring something to the market, be very innovative, be unique, um, solve a new problem. Okay, do you... So you said your company is manufactured like other supplements and stuff. Do you guys private label this? We don't private label it. I mean, for this this product's all about branding. You need um, like the <laughs> like the advice I just gave the millennials, maybe that want to break into the business. I mean, we found a hole in the market and brought this product. So uh, as far as white labeling, um, with this product, it's so unique. We're sticking behind the branding. It's all about the branding, all about the uniqueness. Right. So uh, we're not white labeling. Was it challenging working with Nano Emulsifier? Um, yes, there's a, there's a lot of hurdles to uh, jump with there. There's a lot of you know good Nano on the market, bad Nano on the market. Okay. Um, not all of it tastes great. A lot of it changes the color of your product. Not all of it's actually Nano when you test it with the rare testing equipment. Um, so just from our expertise, from kind of behind the scenes of the manufacturing, you know we had connections, we had expertise, we had know-how, so we were able to put this product together. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope you guys learned something. Okay.